Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing a review of the European markets for trading session Tuesday, 27th of February 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com as well and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Okay, in terms of market stats then, let's quickly go through the numbers here, folks, in terms of a European markets first and foremost. Asian markets mixed, you had the um, Nikkei higher, but the Shanghai Hang Seng lower. FTSE finishes down seven points. Okay, the Euro stocks down five. The DAX and the CAC certainly under under, under pressure as well. Uh, European equities mainly under pressure due to hawkish rhetoric uh, again from Mr. Weidman. Also with regards to the uh, ruling uh, in Germany in terms of uh, diesel cars being banned in the cities. Again, that's certainly hurting the uh, major uh, obviously uh, automobile stocks. In terms of uh, the Euro as well, Euro has been on a decline. Okay. Uh, did touch 1.22, but the hawkish rhetoric from the ECB member certainly didn't uh, bode well going forward, especially with Mr. Draghi, uh, potential speech. Now, in terms of the focus, the market focus really has been on Mr. Powell and his uh, potential uh, stunt, whether it's hawkish or it's going to be uh, dovish. From what I understand and what I can see uh, thus far, it has maintained a hawkish stance. Again, that certainly is negative for equities. That's why we're seeing US equities certainly slip and European equities under pressure as well to a large extent based on that. In terms of the rest of the indices, uh, the FTSE 100 focusing on the FTSE. Now we had the FTSE certainly gapping higher above that 7,300 level on the back of uh, stronger uh, obviously news in terms of earnings. So yeah, GKN and uh, Standard Chartered earnings certainly coming in stronger than expected and also the bid from, for Sky certainly helping the media sector as well. But that still failed to deter the uh, the market obviously um, uh, uh, obviously uh, from going higher and given the fact that Mr Powell uh, represents a hawkish stance that means higher rates and therefore that's going to hurt the stock market given the yields certainly going back above three percent from what I can see so thus far okay so again focus back on bonds and yields uh, and it certainly seems to be a more normal economy again in terms of uh, other news flow uh, from a fundamental perspective uh, the uh, U.S. data certainly came in weaker. Durable goods certainly got on the weaker side. Uh, inflation numbers out of um, Germany slightly weaker, so therefore certainly hurt the euro. And uh, economic data, industrial confidence coming in more or less in line. Economic sentiment, consumer confidence more or less in line. Services, overall European data certainly coming in stronger than expected from that perspective. Okay, folks, so let's see whether that can sustain itself. Okay, so let's look at the technical picture now. The German DAX, let's go to the daily chart. Uh, okay, so again, we've retraced. We still haven't closed that gap, though. Watch out for the gap at 12.680. And then you've got a gap at 12.790. And German DAX certainly been under pressure, especially with Mr. Merkel's potential alliance and coalition, certainly uh, in jeopardy. 60-minute chart, ever since we closed that gap at uh, 12.590, we've been under pressure. Again, bear in mind, you do have another two gaps above, or even three gaps, should I say. So watch out for those gaps above, folks, okay, in terms of the next potential move. 10-minute chart on the German DAX, again, certainly seems to be capped, uh, certainly finishing in weaker towards a close. Let's just have a look here. So again, you're looking at resistance using your Fib high or your diagonal trend lines is basically connecting them across. Okay, so again, you're looking at support around the 12.450 zone, 12.430 zone, and then you're looking at resistance above around the 12.560, 12.580 and the 12600 zone above okay so watch out for those levels in terms of the french cac now let's move to the french cac 60 minute chart remains bearish given the fact that we've closed that gap on field gaps yes yes to, uh, need to close below 10 minute chart you got intraday you've got a double top here at uh, 5360 we need to close that gap below at 5320 okay so watch out below and then you've got support down here at 5300 and 5290 as well watch out below daily chart at the moment again it's in that fibs a 61 percent resistance it remains bearish from my perspective okay on the french cac specifically and we are looking for a potential move south watch out there in terms of um, the FTSE 100 now again the 10 minute chart today let's just quickly discuss that okay so 10 minute chart you've got resistance above at 7325 you've got resistance at 7310 uh, for now, you've got potential support seen here in this zone. So you've got support at um, uh, at or around. You've got uh, 7270 zone. You've got 7260 zone. And you've got gap fill at 7245. Now, given the fact that Mr. Powell certainly was on the hawky side, one would expect that gap at 7245 to close. That's basically what I'd be expecting. 
that gap certainly to uh, close and for the market certainly to move south. That's my expectation and my interpretation, okay, in terms of the FTSE 100. Okay, daily chart, as you can see on the FTSE, certainly has rejected that to previous resi support equals resistance and remains bearish. 60 minute chart as well, holding resistance solidly at that 7310 zone, okay, especially that 200 MA. Looking for a retracement now before we attempt to uh, move higher. You're looking at a potential retracement into these zones, okay? 7260, 7220, and 7190. Okay, folks. Moving on to the Euro stocks, let's see exactly what's going on here in terms of the Euro stocks daily chart. Again, you've got gap fill resistance, previous support equals resistance here as well. So Euro stocks certainly in, in, into uh, resistance, certainly looking into uh, into risk off mode, holding that 38 to 50 percent and looking to move lower. 60 minute chart again, you've got gap fill. You've got gap fill resistance, so watch out there in terms of gap fill, okay. Uh, previous uh, support equals resistance, horizontal resistance, gap fill, so watch out for those zones, okay. Previous resistance equals support, and then you've got support down at 3 400 as well, okay. So let's see if this market continue, uh, okay, can continue uh, in terms of its next move, okay. So watch out there from that perspective, okay. Understood. Okay, so this is uh, your level here. Okay, this is what we're looking for in terms of the next potential move. Okay, you've got a rising contracting wedge pattern there. Let's see if that can sustain itself. Okay, so again, that's the your status quo uh, in terms of the market. Again, we're looking at gap fill below at three four forty. Okay, and then looking to potentially stabilize. Okay, I think that's a uh, wrap up then in terms of the uh, market. Uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus as well. Goodbye now.